Hello guys, how are you doing? Yeah, um, a question I seem to be getting asked uh, uh, quite a lot through uh, YouTube and uh, my website and and uh, whatnot is uh, a lot of people are asking me advice on <clears throat> what base, uh, what base is a good beginner base. <clears throat> what should they start off with? Um, you know, what make and and so on and so forth. It's an interesting question because when I was younger and I first started playing bass, <clears throat> if it had four strings and it made a noise, then you were playing with it. <laughs> it was good to go, you know, it, it, it was gigging. It didn't, it didn't matter what it was, it didn't matter what it looked like. If it made noise, <laughs> you're in there, yeah. And I was kind of brought up like, you know, around the whole like uh, grunge thing where <clears throat> you, it was, <clears throat> you know, uh, paying particular no attention to your equipment wasn't, you know, wasn't the done thing at the time. You just, you just kind of like got out there and made bad noises. And it, you know, in a way it was good because it, it, if the bass sounded bad and it had nothing inside it and it was just awful, you you know you had to make it sound good, yeah, you, you know, with your with your technique and that. And in a way, it's um, yeah, I kind of um, I kind of learned a lot of good stuff from that. But as um, you know, time's gone on. Uh, basses and, mu and musical instruments have got a lot cheaper, and we've got a lot more opportunities. And uh, you know, certainly more opportunities now from when uh, I uh, that I had when I was when I was younger and starting out. I mean, some of the basses, man. Phew, they were like road wrecks. Uh, I had I had a bass with having uh, it had an Ibanez body and a, a, a Les Paul neck, and it was an I'd ripped all of the frets off it as well. Don't ever do that if you want a fretless bass. Don't presume you know. It's just oh god, and I gigged with that horrible thing. For, it was completely stripped down. I gigged with it for about a year, and it was god. That was horrible. And then I had a Jim Harley, which is like a tank. But anyway, anyway, anyway. anyway. Um, my point is, is that if you're just starting out playing bass, you know, I mean, just starting out, and you, you know, you kind of like assessing, you know, if you like it or not, you're going to stick with it. There are plenty of really cheap, cheap basses that you can buy in your local, um, you know, in in England, you know, Argos in uh, in America, like the equivalents probably Walmart, um, and you can and in I know for a fact that you can get like a bass with a cheap, horrible amp for about you know you're not going to be gigging with it at first, you can be practicing, uh, and you know, that's the point of it. You're going to be you just just you just need it to like you know get yourself a good technique and learn some beginner stuff and you know learn you know learn from like, if you wanted to learn from my bass lessons and you know all of the other stuff that's out there on the internet, and you can get them for like a hundred quid. Uh, with, with an amp, and, and you guys in the states, you can probably get it even cheaper than that. I mean, the, the hundred quid is equivalent right now, about to about to, say two hundred dollars. I'm pretty sure that you guys in the states can probably get a really cheap, horrible bass for about a hundred dollars. Uh, <clears throat> and the point of it isn't that to look good. It doesn't matter if it looks good. It doesn't matter if you know it sounds bad. It's just getting the technique down and seeing if you're going to stick with it in the long haul. You know, you might go ahead and buy like a an okay bass and. Um, you're not, you know, not stick with it, and it's just gonna sit somewhere and you just, you know, rot basically. And I'd never want to see that happen. <laughs> but anyway, okay. So from that, if you if you are gonna go with it, and you have got a bit of cash, then the next stage up from that, um, I, I mean, in my opinion, is pomp Ibanez sound gear. Hoorah! And I'll tell you why. Yeah, this bass here. I gigged with this bass for years. And even though I've got a, a music man, uh, an early, well, a Stingray music man, which is Flea's bass, um, I sometimes come back to this because I love it. I, I, I just love the whole Ibanez feel. Um, and this is a budget bass. This cost me, this cost me 50 quid. Not brand new, it was second hand, but you can kind of oh God, just leave it alone. You can kind of um you can kind of like you know get get an idea of the price. I think that this, this is a five string, but I've taken it off. I've taken off the fifth string and made it a four string for um <laughs> weird reasons. But anyway, um you can get you can get these for stupidly cheap. Uh, really, really cheap. And they're like they're, they're still budget bases, but they're great. They're light, they're um it's got a, it's really nice and easy to play, they've got a nice feel, the action's great and uh, it's just I just I just love these bases and shut up and what else is that I've just I'm teaching a lad at the moment he's just bought one for 150 quid which is about the equivalent of uh, about 300 dollars and again you guys in the states will get this much cheaper and it's an Ibanez uh, sound gear of sorts I think I think it's, it might be the next one up but oh my god this bass it is absolutely lovely it's 
really light, but it plays itself. It's for slap and pop stuff. It's it's brilliant because it's um, it's just it's nice. The, the neck the, the the neck width is perfect, um, and as I said, it's nice and light. And as well as with that funky that funky sounds that you know you've got the you need a bit of a high end, but you need a low end there as well. And you've got to kind of get it in between when you're slapping and popping. It has that. It maintains the low end brilliantly. You still get a nice big round bassy sound, but you can also also have. A, you can't really tell here because I've got an auto wire on, but you also have like a the nice high end sound as well. So yeah, if you guys um, are you know wanting to move along and um, move along and get yourself a, a nice bass, will last you for years, as this one did for me then I thoroughly recommend Ibanez sound gear. Any Ibanez budget range. When I was younger, Ibanez were the, they were like the Skoda of uh, basses. You would laugh at them because they were like the cheapy things. But these days, they're awesome basses. Really nice. I'm, I'm not going to throw I cannot throw this away because it's just, oh, God, I love it. Still, after all these years. Anyway, so, yeah, that would be my recommendation. I hope this helps you guys. And um, keep on practicing. And um, I shall see you on demandlamius.com. See you later, boys and girls. Ta-da.